Hey y'all, it's Michael. Hi, hello, how are you? Side note, it is midnight right now and for some reason I just wanted to film a video and I don't know why. So we're in the middle of May and it is Asian Pacific Island Heritage Month. God, it's just a long name. And I am reading a lot of books by Asian authors and I will put up those videos soon. Um, I had a great break from <laughs> from filming every single day in April, so now I'm back, full force. Let's do this. Uh, so today I'm here to talk about some of my favorite movies from Asia, around Asia. I don't think I've ever talked about this on my cha on this channel before, but I love movies. Uh, it's probably the next thing, actually it'll probably be the third thing after reading and video games. What I'm going to do is this is going to be part one because there's obviously more movies that I enjoy from Asia. But I chose seven movies and we're just going to go through them. This is going to be from uh, different countries. I'm not going to tackle all the countries because some of these I don't feel as I have a good grasp of some movies like um, I don't watch a lot of Bollywood movies so if you have any suggestions please let me know down below that would be great. I've seen one before and I can't recall for the life of me what movie it was but I was like oh my gosh I love this because the combination of like drama and then all of a sudden dancing and whatnot yeah, and I don't know if Slumdog Millionaire counts as... Well, would it count? Well, would Slumdog Millionaire count? I don't know. But yeah, I... Oh my god, I love that movie, in case you don't know. Slumdog Millionaire, oh, so good. Um, I actually did read the book, and the book is slightly different from the uh, movie, but it keeps a lot of the same themes and whatnot. So let's just get started. Anyways, okay, let's go. Now, the first movie that I really enjoy, um, it's not technically from Asia, but I mean, the title is Sanskrit, so it's kind of counting, but I'm gonna count it anyways, and that is Samsara. Oh my gosh, if you have never seen this film before, it is beautiful. This, I've solely watched this just for the cinematography because the way it's shot, this is beautiful. Oh my god, this is a beautiful, beautiful, I'm gonna keep saying it, but it is a beautiful movie. It's, um, samsara is the word referring to, like, life, um, creation and birth, like, a cycle almost. Uh, it can get really, philosoph like, really deep if you dig deep into that word. My sister actually sat down, which, in case you don't know, my sister, like, we kind of don't want her to come to the movies with us because she will go to sleep. And when she's awake for a movie, that means it's actually not that bad. She actually stayed awake for this. Now, I'm not. I'm gonna warn you, don't eat if you watch this because it's, it's a documentary. It's It took five years for them to make it, but it's basically shots across the globe. It has so much vivid imagery. It, it'll stick in your mind because like the food scene and the um, the million hand scene really sticks in my mind and the gun scene and there's this it's just just a beautiful film I I love this I oh my gosh beautiful it's uh, you'll get something different from this than what I got from it that's such a great thing when you see that from a film I love it on the other spectrum this one is from Indonesia and I recommend this all the time when people are like, I want to see a good action movie. And then I said, have you seen The Raid Redemption or The Raid 2? <gasps> I love this. This is straight up action. Like, straight up action. I cannot even tell you the character's name because all I remember is the fight scenes. <laughs> you don't technically have to see number one to get number two because number two is way better than number one. But you do get more of a reference, but you don't really, like... If you just can get number two, I would just say watch that. This is action headstrong. And this is the film that when I watch an action, like a fighting action scene, like ha ya, like a martial arts scene, I'm always thinking in my head, huh, was that as good as the raid? This is in the style of, um, okay, I wrote it down so I'm gonna make sure I pronounce it correctly. It's Panchak Salat. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's a style of fighting. It's... It's really different from what you see from kung, like tradition, like old school, most common kung fu movies. Like it's not Wing Chun or like straight up karate. It's 
It's really different. It really does what good action movies really do. Like it keeps escalating. It's like fight after fight after fight after fight. And this is not for the squeamish because the way that they fight, um, I actually we I actually watched the documentary afterwards, but they actually had to learn how to like fake hit. Like I'm kind of hitting you, but I'm not. The last, I think it's the next to the last fight between the main character and the main villain. It, main villain, I use that loosely. It is such, oh my gosh, like it is literally two heavyweights fighting. This will blow your mind. Like these scenes on here, it's so good. Like this is just good ass action. This one is from Korea and this is old boy. Oh my God incredible film. I first heard of this film from, I think, from Roger Ebert. May he rest in peace. He's one of my favorite movie critics. I, I love him. Oh my gosh. Ah, he's, he was an amazing film critic. I first heard of this from him because there's a, there's an American remake and I didn't watch that, but this, this is the version from Korea. This is the original version. It is incredible. This is how you tell a good ass story with incredible pacing. The main image from this that I clearly see is obviously that one take scene in the middle of the hallway where they just keep fighting and like 30 people come and attack him. This is about um, Daisu. I think I'm pronouncing that right. He gets captured and is isolated from the world. He basically seeks revenge against his captors. And let me tell you, this story, the way that it's layered and structured, the ending blew my mind. Like. I was like, what the heck? One word that I can always describe the type of Korean films that I really enjoy, well, it's either like, same with um, Japanese films also, they're really either melancholy or calm or like visceral or in your face. And this one, old boy, definitely falls into the visceral and in your face. Because there's other like Korean films that I really enjoy, like um, poetry. Um, I'll talk about that in another film, but oh yeah. That one's like really calm and melancholy and beautiful and slow. This one's like old boys like in your face, like punching you. The other one, this one is from Japan and it is still so good to this day. And that's obviously Battle Royale. Uh, this is amazing. I haven't read the book, um, I want to, but I first heard of this way before Hunger Games, <laughs> way before um, Hunger Games blew up. Hunger Games doesn't even hold a candle to this, <laughs> but this is about, um, it's in the future in, in Japan where the crime rate is so bad and like kids are so awful that um, a group of kids are basically put into an island and they have to fight until the end and kill each other until you survive. And this is amazing. It's just so visceral in your face and there's so many memorable moments like when that girl literally jumps on the guys and like attacks him in his <laughs> It's so good. It, yeah, you can I can you can talk about like the philosophical meanings and blase blase. But bruh, it's just good as action. It's really good. All right, the other one. Now, I didn't know which one to pick from China because I do watch a lot of Chinese films. And then there was either Kung Fu Hustle or Shaolin Soccer. I think a lot more people know about Kung Fu Hustle than Shaolin Soccer, so I'm gonna talk about Shaolin Soccer. Both of these are from Stephen Chow. He is so funny. His movies tend to be more like comedy. It's like really weird. It's always, it's really weird. Kung Fu Hustle is so weird. It's about a monk who recruits his brothers and they form a um, like a soccer team and they have to go against the other soccer soccer team. It's action with comedy and sports. <laughs> this one is from Thailand. It's not a movie for everyone because it, it's incredibly slow, which a lot of people don't watch nowadays. It's so bizarre that I was so intrigued. Like this, I think the one word that would describe this movie is intriguing and that's Uncle Boomy who recall his past lives. It's about um, Uncle Boomy who finds out he's about to die soon and so he goes to the countryside and it's so weird. Now I'm not really peculiar, I'm not really knowledgeable about Thai culture so I I felt like when I was watching this for the first time, I admit a lot of it went over my head, but it was so bizarre. Like, it was so weird. It was one of those films where you kind of have to watch it to understand it. Like, there's like this thing with this catfish. 
And these things would like, it was so bizarre, but if it's any time like anyone mentions it, I was, I, it, those images come back in my head and I really see it. All right, the last one is uh, from the Philippines, where I'm from. I don't tend to watch a lot of Filipino movies, especially the dramas, because they tend to regurgitate very similar lines and a lot of the stuff tends to be really melodramatic or like really lovey-dovey and they tend to be really preachy and, but this one that when the first when I first watched it I was like oh this is it's it's really different and that is The Blossoming of Maximo Oliveros. I watched this I remember watching this the first time and I was like oh wow this is really different. This is about uh, this boy um, Maxi who is Bakla and that means gay in the Philippines and this really is about self-discovery. Because of incidents, he falls in love with this cop who is way, way older than him. Like, it's a love story, but it's kind of like a taboo type of love story. But it's not con conventional in the sense that, like, boy meets girl type of thing. And it's really hard to talk about this film without trying to give away too much because it's just it's just a really nice film. Like, it's, it's really simple, but it's simple. It's done so well. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, those are seven films that's from Asia. Yeah, let me know if you have... I'm gonna do another part of this bef because there are more bo uh, movies that I really enjoy. As you notice, I didn't talk about any anime at all, which I love. I can make a whole separate video on animes. <sighs> or like Korean dramas. <laughs> I didn't make any of those. But so yeah, if you have any favorite Asian movies, uh, let me know. Especially if you have any um, Bollywood recommendations, let me know. Uh, I would love to watch more of those. Uh, so yes, until then, I'll see you guys till the next video. Bye!